Hey bestie, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be taking a look at Miss Daphne Minton from series three. Now, in the beginning, um, I didn't like her, but now I really do like the physical doll. Um, her outfits are a little bit questionable, but again, once we get her out, we can see if her outfits are cuter or if they're just, you know, meh. But I'm really excited to crimp her hair. I'm gonna do a whole video on how to crimp a doll hair again, because like, I haven't done it with Rainbow High doll yet, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, stay tuned for that, but like, but yeah, guys, um, um, I'm very excited to be opening her up. Um, if you haven't watched my other reviews, I'm going to link my Rainbow High playlist down below. We just went over Cheryl the other day and now it's Daphne's turn to shine and I'm hoping she doesn't smell as bad as Cheryl because I had to spray the room down. <laughs> but yeah guys, um, before we get into the box, are you subscribed to my channel? If you aren't, you should subscribe and hit the bell notification just so you can see any other Rainbow High reviews or other doll content I do on my YouTube channel because I do a lot. Okay guys, let's get into her box. So just like the other doll, she has a standard rainbow high box. It's, you know, the same box we've seen with all the other basic dolls. They haven't really changed the design too much. On the top, it says collect the rainbow and it says series three Daphne Minton. And it has the rainbow high logo very much printed near the doll. It's quite annoying, but I guess that's just what they did with this wave. And in the middle, you can see her. She has a brand new face mold that I'm super excited to see. Like, I'm like, oh. Ooh. If you look below, it says YouTube and it shows all the doll's artwork down below. And you can see her second outfit in this window and her second pair of shoes in this one. And her focus is accessories at Rainbow High. On the back of the box, it says Rainbow High and it shows all of the girls' artwork so far. And ironically, I'm going in order. So I've gone through all of them so far. So stay tuned for Gabby and Emmy. They should be up by the end of this week. And it says, welcome to Rainbow High, the colorful school full of bold fashions and bolder drama. Yeah, just like the community. And if you guys are very interested about finding Miss Daphne, here is her barcode. Just screenshot this video and I don't know, maybe it, it will help you. I don't know. Okay guys, I'm going to free Miss Daphne out of her box and, and we're gonna take a closer look at her because she seems to be very iconic and I'm very excited to like play around with her and all that. So. BRB. Okay guys, and I freed her from her box and wow, she has like a lot of hair. Like, woo, it's really, really thick. So I'm gonna start off showing you what she comes with accessory wise and then we're gonna move on to the doll and then her outfit. She comes with this really, really pretty stand color just like um, Cheryl. Cheryl had a really pretty stand color. Um, so stand to stand and she has a matching comb. It's almost like resin water, if you know what I'm talking about. She comes with a rainbow high pants hanger. It's in a mint color. And she also has the rainbow hanger. Daria and Georgia didn't have this kind of hanger so it's weird to see Cheryl and Daphne now have it, so yeah. Okay guys, let's look at her gorgeous ass face. I love her face, Um, it is so pretty. So she has light eyebrows and they're kind of almost like Cheryl's, but they're just, you know, a little less thick and you know, they're just super pretty. As for her makeup look, she has like a kind of teal blue kind of color on her lid and then it's kind of like a bronzy or brown above it. <laughs> and there's a little gold lining of glitter. It's so pretty. She has minty green eyes that match her hair super well. It's very well done. I love her face. I can't get over it. <laughs> she has cute little freckles like Poppy and she has a kind of almost metallic pinkish red kind of lipstick. It's kind of giving me how Korean girls do their lipstick and it's so pretty. And as I mentioned, she is an accessory focus so she has some earrings they're these really big hoops that say rainbow and they're in a chain one thing that's kind of annoying about them is because there's a gap it's going to always like catch in her hair so i might take them out i don't know speaking of her hair she has this gorgeous mint colored hair and it is super thick and it has like kind of a little crimping wave into it I of course want to give her like more severe crimps. So I'm probably going to do a video like I mentioned in the beginning on how to do that on a Rainbow High doll. And I'm excited, so stay tuned for that. She does have some of that shiny nylon that's not good and you could kind of see it. It's the lighter blue kind of color in her hair. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect her hair when washing it. So we'll see, we'll see. But if you're definitely looking for a hair play doll, this doll has a lot of hair and I had to judge it a little bit. You can see there's like a little bald spot back there, but I have to wash it and brush it out properly. I only did some finger combing, so yeah. If we move on to her outfit, she's wearing this very interesting jacket that is a kind of light blue color. It's very metallic, by the way, too. It has some chains 
printed onto it and it has white cuffing and border. It has a gold little zipper detail and on the bottom it has an RH little zipper pull. It doesn't actually work but it's cute that they added it. Underneath that she's wearing kind of a crop top almost like a sports bra kind of shirt and it's see-through a little bit but it's really cute. I love it and it's white and it has a border that says RH all on the bottom and it's gold and she also has minty green nails which is so cute and if we move it down to her skirt it's a tweed skirt. I kind of um, f it up <laughs> by pulling a little tag out so be careful with it. It's a lot better than Bella's because Bella had that kind of tinsel woven into it and it was really annoying. But yeah, it's really cool. And on the bottom of it, it has a little aglet loop that's gold and a little ribbon through it. And it probably says rainbow and it's just tied right there. Super cute skirt though, I really like it. And if we move down to her shoes, she's wearing kind of a cyan, teal, or is it mint? I don't know, <laughs> kind of color strappy heel with black bottoms and it has gold embellishments like an RH logo right there and a little buckle on either side. And it has a clear strap in the middle to keep the toes in. But yeah, guys, that is her basic look. I'm going to show you now what her second outfit is, and then we're gonna put her in it. So she has a three-piece second outfit. I've noticed a lot of these dolls are pretty much having three-piece outfits, which is cool. For hers, the material on this jacket is so bizarre. It's almost like a it's almost like winter break violet second outfit, but also like the towel that comes with the house here. And it's super soft, but kind of weird feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It's microfiber material, I guess. I don't know. It's supposed to look like a puffy jacket with some gold details at the cuffs and at the, the border of the jacket. It's really nice. It's all embroidered, by the way. She has four pockets, two on each side, and they are functional, but I don't know what you would put in them, to be 100% honest. She has yet another white t-shirt with some details printed on it as well. It's a little chain, and it says rainbow. It kind of reminds me of that new Amaya that's coming out, like her belt, pretty much, so... That's cool. And you can see all the tufted details. It's so nice. And don't mind the mannequin. It doesn't hold pants really well, but um, she has the same color pants and they have all these details and patchwork all over them. This one kind of matches her jacket or Cheryl Meyer's second skirt kind of. And then we have a cheetah print one there and it says a rainbow high. And I've seen this logo somewhere. I just don't remember what brand this is supposed to be. And then on the bottom for the cuffs, they're a minty green color. So I'm excited to see what this is going to look like on her. The top is kind of giving me Juicy Couture vibes. I don't know why, but it's cute. Could you imagine if they made a Juicy Couture Rainbow High doll? Like the concept of that would be iconic. As for her second pair of shoes, I really like these. They're a pearly white coloring and inside it says rainbow in black. And the straps around it are a blue minty color with some gold details to look like they're being unzipped. I really do like these, these are really cool. She has really good shoes, guys. Okay guys, I'm going to put her into her second outfit and let's see if it's better. <laughs> so, BRB. Okay, I don't know why, but I really do like the second outfit. <laughs> um, I really think the top portion would be super cute with the skirt. I might try that on after the video. Oh my God, this is so cute. Um, I really do like the top. Um, I like how I post her hands in her pockets. Um, she's very much giving a model. And one thing I love about her face is she looks very nice, but also she could be very sultry. So it's just like, her, we, we don't know your mood, girl, and we stand that for you. But yeah, it's just such a cute little outfit. The shoes will probably fall off easy because they're, they're these kind of style shoes, but they're super cute, guys. I actually think I'm going to put the skirt on her right now so we can see what it looks like as an outfit. So, BRB. Okay, yeah, that's a lot cuter. I like that. That's super cute. The colors are a little, little different, but it's still super cute. I can't wait to crimp her hair. Oh my god, I'm like really ecstatic about that. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna keep her in this outfit, guys. Um, I'm pulling another Georgia moment. I'm not gonna change it and, you know, put it on the mannequin again. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I really want to know your thoughts on Daphne. Um, I don't know what her character is like in the show. I remember we had like a animation clip of her, but I don't remember what she's like yet. So yeah, let me know what your opinion on her doll is. Are you gonna get her? Who's your favorite series three doll? Like I asked in all the other videos. And yeah, I think she's really cute. Um, I like the hair color a lot more in person. Um, I'm really excited to try other outfits on her as well. I think she's gonna look cute in certain looks. I'm also, as I said, very excited to do her hair and all that. So 
I'm pretty pleased with this doll. I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. But that about wraps up this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love to have you guys here. You know, we're really cool people. <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next Series 3 review, which should be probably Gabriella. And we'll see what if I like her. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Thank <music> you.